Bright Voice here today. I, I have something that you may need. If you've already summoned on Demon Lord Rimuru, you already know, oh my god, what a great character you just pulled. But maybe your Rimuru isn't holding up to the other, you know, Rimuru that you're going against. Yeah, the enemy Rimuru is nuking you. There's a reason for that, and I'll try to give you all the things that you should do in order to make your Rimuru hit for more. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe, let's jump into it. First things first, I have my beautiful Demon Lord Rimuru Tempest over here. This is what it looks like. Again, currently, if you're wondering about gear, and this is mainly for if you're playing geared PvP or if you are just doing story and you want your Rimuru to hit for more, obviously, I'm just going attack crit. That's the way. For everyone asking substats, attack. I'm not doing the entire pierce thing. You can if you want to, but attack crit and just attack substats is the way to go, in my opinion, and that is the way you should do it, right? That's it. If you want to do it that way, that is the way. That's it. Simple. Now again, if you haven't actually went and built, built, right, the relic, what are you doing, okay? This is the reason, first off, you're not even hitting for anything. The relic is the most important thing. So again, if you haven't already built a relic, go build your relic. It is for free, you go to the mail, you claim the little box, you open that said box, you get those materials in that box, and you build a relic, and you hit for more, simple. Next, at this moment in time, I haven't bought this, and I will buy this around, like, before this collab ends. I kind of want to see what Annie is first before I waste any more gems. I'm buying this regardless of anything, but it's just my free-to-play way of just waiting a little bit longer. Um, but this does exist, yes? With this, you're increasing pierce rate. And, again, for chance to attack also. When you buy this whole set at 60 gems, you get all three costumes. You can then go and you are in upgraded. Remember, this is a way to do a little bit more damage. Again, the extra pierce rate helps overall. And then, again, when you stat boost and everything, it gives you more attack and it's it's just better if you have this do it most people are buying this and then again yes it's a collaboration overall more people will do more damage than you if they are buying the other two costume sets but again you know you have this one at least it's enough and if you're not going against the second room route, it should be it should be fine so yeah and again, a side note, remember, to understand the entire passive, it's pretty simple. At the start of the ally's turn, it increases the hero's basic stats by 8%. Basically there. Removes one buff, also from all enemies, then it increases the hero's own basic stats by 8%. Okay, that's how it works. Every time you remove a buff, it increases your um, basic stats by 8%. If it is increased to max, it increases the hero's pierce rate once by 130% for 3 turns. Once you get max on the entire passive, that is when you're going to be hitting big, big numbers. And that is when it definitely, you know, you'll see a difference in your damage. Remember, that is the case. And that is how that passive works. Next, while you're playing PvP, you kind of want to know this. And it's pretty important, right? Rimuru's base crit chance is, in fact, going to be 80%. Then, if you actually go and use the association with Merlin, either one of them, you go and boost the crit chance by 19.2%, which is a decent percentage. Again, when you have that cosmetic piece also on the side, you're increasing crit, uh, crit chance constantly, and it will at least almost guarantee a crit, depending on what your team's, uh, other team is running. It does help out a little bit more, and it is something that you can take into consideration. Or if you just want to go and say screw it and run, uh, run melee, you can also do so, and you'll get attack um, at 280. That is the actual association for Rimuru. With that also, um, you can then go and, again, if you're going this route, I don't think you have this unit yet, or maybe you're already 6'6 and just upgraded this. Um, there is Tarmiel. It won't hit, uh, it won't make you do more damage, but it will make you survive longer, hence doing more damage. That's the entire idea. If the hero is attacked during the enemy's turn, immediately recovers 30% of damage taken. If taking damage twice or more skills of the same enemy in the same turn, restricts all of the skill effects, and inclu uh, including the ultimate moves of that enemy for two turns. This is a broken, broken grace, and it is from the new Tarmiel. I don't know if you have this at this point, again, depending if you summon on that banner or not. If you did, this is something that you should take into consideration and use because, oh my God, you won't die. It just, oh my God. Then again, you can also, if you want to, I've seen a lot of people using green Sariel. Um, it doesn't help as much, but it's there. When the hero uses this skill, it uh, decreases enemies crit chance by 3% and crit damage by 8%. Really, it's just you again surviving a little bit longer but then again i really wouldn't use this one um sariel also has just more crit chance i mean what does it do it just if the critical uh, if the critical strike occurs from the hero's skill use it ignores 50 percent of the enemy's critical defense you can use it but i still think that uh tarmiel and um what is it merlin is definitely the better bet and just a better route also if you are running on like a team and you want to go and do just more damage overall 
Remember, Pierce is a thing and Mage Lilia literally has like the best passive for that. And again, this is the part of the video where it does ruin it for a lot of new players because I have seen a lot of people picking up this game and asking these questions because again, they're new to the game. That's the entire idea. Whenever a collaboration hits, it's the time of the game or an anniversary. Whenever people pick it up, the game does better. New people join in, um, all the advertisement happens. And when people see, oh my God, Slime and 7DS, two of my favorite animes or Slime and 7DS, oh my God, I'll pick up the game. This is a character that exists, and you may not have this character yet, but in a later period, it will become available for a rerun, and you can then pick it up. Ram is beautiful for Rimuru, obviously, and for any collaboration unit, rather unknown unit, because of the passive increases unknown race allies by 20%. If you have this, you'll, you'll definitely do way better with Rimuru. Again, I won't say it's a must, but it definitely affects a little bit, and it really does. So if you have it, highly recommend you go and use it, and if you don't have it, don't worry, you can acquire this character at a later time, at this rate when we get um like collaborations it may take a few months probably more than a few months but it will be back at a later date when is that date i can't give you a confirmed answer but it will take some time and again if you want sort of a replacement for ram you can use this this is a pretty good unit also again a lot of people skip this because of where we were in the game where you know you had dear lady dropping then you had you know slime approaching after that so most people had to skip this but again, with this one unit, it increases all allies' attack-related stats by 10% and decreases all enemies' pierce rate, crit uh, trance, and crit damage by 15%. That is how it goes. Again, you see this passive will help you a lot. You'll do more damage, and you'll then go and screw over the enemy. So, if you have this on bench, it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. Up to you if you want to go and run it, um, and it will just help you overall as a supporting unit. And you'll, again, you'll do better with Rimuru. Easy as that. And again, if you are using Shona, which I know a lot of people kind of want to use Shona on a team, you can run with Rimuru and use her um, Holy Bell attack, which is not an attack, it's a recovery skill. But when you use a recovery skill, it removes one debuff from allies, then applies an effect which increases the pierce rate by 20% for two turns. So it will actually go and make Rimuru do more damage, increases pierce rate, hence doing more damage. Remember, that's how it works. So again, this is something you can also use. When you increase pierce rate, that's how it goes. So again, that's like the idea of the entire thing. You can run Mage Lilia, you can run Shunna. Um, you can just run like Rimuru on his own team with Trader Melee, with Merlin, and then Ram on bench. You're doing more damage. Again, when it comes to the uh, associations, those are the best bets, and that is what I recommend. So up to you, whichever you want to do. That's how you're going to do more damage. You're going to crit more, and all that's going to occur, and you'll have a little bit more fun. Now again, all you gotta do is hop into PvP, go and have some fun, and you'll definitely see your Rimuru doing better. Again, they are more basic tips, but I know a lot of new people are picking up the game, and you may not have known that, right? If you run these type of, um, what is it, associations, you'll do better, you'll crit more, you'll do all of that. Again, that Merlin association is very good. Plus, you can easily go and 6-6 six, six that unit, right? Again, Red Merlin, um, or one of the Merlins are in the Quinsha. Green Merlin, I don't know, one of them is. So, whichever one is, you can go and get that. And a lot of people have been picking up, you know, older sins recently. So, by now, if you have Escanor, you should have anyways 6-6 six, six that unit. Uh, Merlin, because crit chance on that too. And again, also, vice versa is true. If these uh, associations are on other characters, that is a reason why you're doing less damage. So, remember, it's not just that. If you do see, um, what is it, Tarmiel's Grace, that may be ruining you because you've attacked twice or whatever. If you see, what is it, the Sariel's Grace, um, green one, you're doing less and all of that. So, again, remember, that's also... Also, uh, true vice versa if you're in some matches and that is the case that is why you're not doing much damage because that is um, applied on the enemy's team so remember that is also the case with that being said should be a very easy win here and you can you see yeah remember to dirty garbage there but it was doing good before yeah it was it was easy forfeit there but yeah that's what i want to show you here today. that's what i want to talk about hope you guys enjoyed that video with that being said that's it thank you again for watching peace out and have a five of this day